all right so what is going on today youtube we will be playing elvis vu's 60 card zombie lifesworn deck that he took to i don't know if it was ycs i don't know what ycs was all i know is he got top 32 with it um, billy williams suggested i play a 60 card variant of zombies or a star a star Sarah version and i said fuck it uh, let's just play a 60 card because you know I've, I, I I really like the 60 card version. So you got so much stuff you can do with the deck, and then with the Star Seraphs, uh, I mean, <laughs> I really couldn't find a build, and I didn't want to like just build one to just I guess I don't I, I really don't know how to explain it, but I just didn't want to build one and just have it be bad. So I decided just let's just go with something established. Let's go with a 60 card deck and if this doesn't work out or if you guys don't like this you know we can try to build a star Sarah version so yeah uh, without further ado we're going to head straight into this video and before like always before a video i would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already i upload a minimum of three videos a week so if you guys can click it add also to help support the channel that'd be very helpful and i appreciate you for it so you know what without further ado we're going to just hop straight in and uh hopefully we draw good and actually we do good but technically every time we play a 60 card deck we, we draw pretty good so let's see what happens all right so here we go and i finally got the right deck to load because before that oh i'm pretty sure you guys can hear that but before oh really drew the one fucking garnet of all things on this planet the one garnet but you know what we do have a very terrific hand so um matter of fact we can do a lot with this to be honest with you um all right so what we can do here is we could send mizuki instant fusion get the mizuki back go into a bullhorn um yeah okay but that's exactly what we can do here um go into a bullhorn right uh and then use that i guess yeah we I, no i think we keep the mizuki i don't know why i'm acting like i don't know how to play with my own deck uh yeah we're going to keep the mizuki in the graveyard so what we can do here is go ahead and go into a bullhorn to a bam use the young bullhorn to go ahead and detach this go ahead and add the oops go ahead and have the momorat Oh fuck. I fucked up. Wait, uh, uh I messed up here folks. I messed up here badly. Um Wow, how did I fuck that one up? Oh, uh, I know what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to exceed over the un I mean I was supposed to use the Unizon before an exceed. That's that's where I fucked up. Oh damn it, I ain't played zombies in so goddamn long I don't forgot what I'm doing. Um, okay, you know what? We're going to continue to play anyways. Fuck it. Um, let's go ahead and go to a Tigris. Um, let's use this young Tigris to detach this. To attach this. I'm going to use this young man. Uh, hmm. No, let's keep that on there. Detach. So special summon the Momorat right then we're going to use the mizuki to target this and then uh let's see we only have two in a graveyard so we can't really do anything with that but we can go minerva that's exactly what we can do we can go ahead and use the minerva right now use the young minerva to go ahead and send this mill three and see what's going on here well you can't really do nothing with that and then let's guys go ahead go into a what's the name because i completely messed up this whole combo <clears throat> but you know it's, it's all right i mean we ended with a minerva and a drancia um we obviously could end it with a lot more but like i said i ain't played zombies in so long and I'm, i've never that, i mean that's not really the case it just i haven't played the zodiac versions of zombies in so long I, I forgot how to do the combo, but he's going to do all this random stuff. All right, so let me see. What do you do? 
why you control all right if this card knows something all right can't do nothing about that um that's not a tuner okay none of these are tuners we just wait for the tuner and then with the tuners we can go ahead and just pop it and i guess get rid of it and that'll be the end of that advantage oh, really are you right why are you playing that fucking card Okay, if it's a flower, don't be a flower. Oh, damn, it's a flower guardian. Okay, wait, what? I don't know if this may be all one effect. So let's just start now. And... None of these are tuner. What do you do? Let's pop this. Um, all right, so that it missed. So we, we we don't we don't die. What is going on? Wow, look at that. That's pretty oh really? Really? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's not once per turn. Not once per turn. Special summon. Oh, fuck. Well, folks, it looks like we're, but once again, it's, I think this would be the third day straight. We're just getting blitzed. We're just getting fucking blitzed. But he's not, he's not plussing. So, hopefully, I guess we get, uh, wait, none of these are tuners, right? That one's a tuner. That make, okay, there we go. He's going to go into, the, okay, we can get over this one right I can't target him and okay wait I can't wait what what does it say your opponent cannot target fire card monsters you control with card effects also those monsters um wait what cannot be destroyed by a card is there anything that I I can't beat over this card oh wow I can't get over this card well, I mean, there is a way. Whoa, is it lagging? I mean, there's a way we can get over it. But, um, hmm. Holy fuck, we can't, we can't attack over that card. But what I can do, I think I know what to do. I need to find a way to go, um, what's the name? Let's see what we can do here. Come on, oh, don't, don't lag on me. Don't do it. It's doing it, folks. Oh, no. There we go. All right. So what do we mean? Oh, we hit two. We hit two snows. That's good. Um, hmm. I have to be able to attack him, so I can't use Unizombie's effect right now. Um, what I can do is let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five. Um. Hmm. I have to pretty much. I can't target this, um, so I would have to get rid of. Wait, what? I would have to somehow find a way to go bullhorn. Hmm. Uh, all right, here, folks. Um, this really sucks. Uh, fuck. You know what? Nope, can't I can't do it that way. We have to use the snow. So one Nope. Two three four five six and um do we need the second you know we really don't need the second one right. Bring this on back out. Then we could uh Hmm. Normal summon this. Then um uh, yeah, because we can use uh we can use Unizombie's second effect. We can go ahead and go Digusta Emerald. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do is pretty much go into another bullhorn. Um we can put back Garnet, um, Norden, and a bullhorn. Garnet Norden, but we probably need to play double bullhorn. Oh, look at that. That was a good card. Okay, so here we go with the instant fusion. 
we go bam use you to go ahead and get back I guess the sage it really doesn't matter um yep and then we go uh go on to the young bullhorn use the young bullhorn attach the sage search the viper we do why we, I don't get why he didn't doesn't play double bullhorn I don't know why he doesn't do that Go ahead and turn you to attack mode. Then have I, I've already known something, correct? Yes, I have. What can I go into a wild bow? Okay, well, do I think I, I should go wild bow, huh? I should go wild bow because I don't want to banish my bullhorn because I can also I can you know use it for what's the name. So here we go, and then it adds more to what's the name. Also, no, I don't want to attack directly. We're going to attack that. You want to get that banished? Um, and then we're gonna bam. We're gonna do that real quick. Oh no! Don't tell me you got shit that activates in your hand. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know it does that. Okay, eighteen. Let me get him with thirteen. And then what we can do is main phase two doesn't play Scarlight. He doesn't play none of that other. He doesn't play nothing else. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, he doesn't really play anything else. Main phase two, what we can do. Uh, okay, we can definitely get around this stuff. We can use this to go ahead and send a Mizuki. Where we go. I was, I was really contemplating sending what's a name, but we're not going to do that here. And then, bam. Use... Uh, Use Sage to tribute this to get the second unit zombie because we only played two for some rod. I, I, all right, so I, I I don't know. I mean, I guess he was going for just what's the name? I guess he was going for that. So see what we can we can go this double the gust of emerald, and I think I want to, but that's not the smartest play to do. Uh, we're gonna go into a young Omega, and that's pretty much where we're going to end it at. So here we go. Going to use this Omega, even though it's going to get negated. Um, let's return a Mizuki, I guess. Let's turn to Mizuki, but he's going to negate it with Breakthrough Skills, so I don't think it really matters. Yeah, it's not going to matter. Um, yeah, we're not even going to even do anything with that. Wait, what does it say? Um, I think somebody say faced up. Do they not? Okay, yeah, why you control a level seven or higher. Oh, I think he thinks that Omega... Okay, well, he quits. I thought uh, uh, maybe he didn't have anything. All right, so here we go against Keyblade Master 22. Let's see what we can do here. And we have opened up a brilliant hand because you can see the brilliant fusion. You see the snow. You see the sage. You see a Raiden. You see... Oh, my God, this hand is amazing. Only thing that makes this better is a... I forgot Wisdom I went to two, but it does not matter. Because with the new rules, they pretty much fuck pendulums completely in the duty hole. And I don't think there's really anything they can do about that. I mean, that's fine, I guess. See, now, if he had a Joker, that would be... Oh, see, so yeah, this is just bad. This imagine, like, he literally... Oh, and I drew a Maxi. Isn't that a coincidence? Um, let's go ahead and just throw this brain fusion on the board. All right, he does not have anything. So, does he play Trick Clown? He does not play Trick Clown. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. He does not play Trick Clown. So I guess we're going to send this wolf. I don't know why he doesn't play Trick Clown. That's that's really strange. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and just normal summon this real quick. Use the young Raiden. Bam, bam. What do we send off? To a barrage and something else? You know, we can just go ahead and go. Um, hmm, Minerva is a really good card. It is, it is a really good card. Diamond Direwolf would kill itself because that's a fairy. Um, we, you know what? We can just go in for damage right now. I think that's what we're going to do here. Let's go in for some damage. Uh, how much is Wisdom I? 15. So we can attack with this. Uh, let's see what it is. 
It is a okay. It's it's a white wing magician. We're gonna hit with five, and then we're gonna hit with twenty one. Then we're going to go. We can go double omega. Yeah, we're gonna go double omega. Matter of fact, we can go. We can. We we could have. We could have possibly went triple omega. Because no, well, what, what? Okay, yeah, okay. I'm no, I'm I'm, I'm drinking. I, you needed another. We needed another Mizuki for a triple omega combo. But you know what? We can dump this out of our hand, which I think we're going to do. Um. So yeah, we're we're definitely gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna go into one. What's the name? We're gonna go into one omega. And we're going to leave the raid until we can mill two off. Don't really want to, you know, don't really want to. We got, we got to get the great. You got to get the deck moving. We have not drawn lawn mooring like everybody else apparently can do with this deck. But apparently I can't because, you know, it's just, I guess it's not meant for me to do. So we're going to go into a two, two, double omega. And this, this, this should most likely be over, especially with a pendulum deck that uh, really can't, can't really come back from this, I guess, because it's literally only two cards left and so right now what we can do is just join the draw phase because i know he's going to preemptively do something so we're going to just activate that maxi then we're going to use this young mizuki i mean young omega to put this back so anything he needs to do he has to start he has to start off with a pendulum summon first and he fucks completely up uh keyblade come on keyblade master why would you do that why would you complete like why would you set a card first knowing that these omegas are going to snap off at any time like you, yeah, look at that you could have got a trip you could have got three pendulum summons i mean you could have special summoned three monsters and pretty much defended yourself and only one card would have got hit but i mean i guess he protected himself against it but um this is not really the smartest thing to do we're going to just blow this board and go for game that's exactly what we're going to do because he does play Black Rose, which I'm I'm very surprised he does because a lot of people do not play Black Rose in these types of builds because they don't they're not really worried about that. And there goes the Terra Top. We haven't drawn that either, um, but here we go for a Black Rose, the lone Black Rose. I'm surreal. I'm really surprised that he actually plays this card, but I'm happy he does play it because a lot of people really overlook that card but this card is it's like the reason why he plays dire uh, dire wolf is because he just wants to give it in the back row so you can just go off and that's pretty much what black rose does it gets rid of the back row so you can just do every play you want to do you had a galaxy cyclone cosmic cyclone but then you didn't do it what what was the reason folks what do you what reason do y'all think was happening so here we go we're going to get this um, we're going to use you to discard. I don't think he plays another level eight, but it's all right. I'm um, going to use you to go ahead and get this back. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't play another level eight. That's about it. Um, let me see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. We can go ahead and hit him with that much. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we don't care about Maxi. And right now, what we're going to do is because we, I don't think we can get game any other way. We're going to just hit, we're just going to hit him with this. We're going to hit him with this. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess that it's, we could, yeah, we could just do that, huh? Hmm. So we can go Minerva right here. Matter of fact, we can actually go into a Bullhorn and search. And then, okay, yeah, I know exactly what to do. We can go ahead and go into a Bullhorn. We can use the Bullhorn to detach this to search. Um, we can actually search black sheep because we can actually use this. Um, you use you, and we right now I'm just going to set up a lot of cards in my graveyard because that's that's just that's just something we can do. Send this Mizuki. Um, use this young black sheep to get the fusion substitute. 
And so right now, what we can do is go double that gust of emerald right now. And I believe that's what we're going to do here, folks. We're going to go double that gust of emerald so we can get multiple, multiple. Actually, that may be a bad thing to do. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's going to be all right. Where you at? Double that gust of emerald. It's going to be all right. He only has one card left. So yeah, we're going to target three. We're going to go ahead and dump this because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put back the Black Rose, the Seraph Knight, and the Garnet. Ooh, we draw a Terror Top. So now what we can do is just do another few. We can do a Fusion Substitute. Bam. And if we was playing like a level 7 or something, we can definitely just do it with that. And just get back any 4. It doesn't really matter. And then, bam, we're going to another Degaster Emerald. If we could put back the, we could just put back all the extra deck cards, really. Um, bam, two, one, and two, and uh, you know what? We can put back. Oh, don't quit, Keyblade Master. I believe this is a match. Hold on, let me see. All right, so <clears throat> there we go with uh, another duel. He did quit. It was not a match, so we're gonna go back and play against Scorpio twenty seven. And this is a off. Oh, we can't do anything with this hand. To be honest with you. You have a DD Crow. Now, he did play this DD Crow because of Paleozoic and shit like that. So, I mean, I, I guess. Hopefully, this does come in handy. Um, we just send this Mizuki real quick and set this Twin Twister. So, let's see. Let's see what we can do here, folks. We're going to be. Oh, no. I, I said Scorpio. Uh oh, fuck. I said Scorpio. Nine, uh, I said Scorpio 97 and it's Spazio 997. So this will be the last duel of the day. Um, so yeah, we was going to go to that We was going to do some things. We still have a John Long Morning, which is what? Okay, I guess. I guess. I, I, I don't, I mean, he, he's going to get two more bad baboons, but I mean, what, what does it really do? Oh. You know, I've never seen somebody actually draw two Bababoons because you cannot, you can't get them from the deck. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you draw two because once you normal summon one, you can just put back the other. But, I've, yeah, I've never seen somebody actually draw multiple Bababoons and then, like, try to resolve the effect. So, shit, Mike doesn't fail. My bad, my bad. So, let's see what he's going into. He's only playing nine extra deck cards, so I'm just gonna guess he's not playing in okay there we go he's not playing it all right so let me see you can get okay all right so that's what's gonna happen definitely gonna twin twister the shit out of him young in phase whoop whoop go ahead and get rid of those two. Oh, he's playing tricksters you son of a bitch you're playing tricksters all right so that was the best draw we could have had because Hmm. So I can go Bullhorn, search Momorat, and then send Viper and then Tigris and equip it. That that's something I can do. But is it the greatest play? It possibly is. That's it, it, we're gonna do that because uh, we're that's just that's just something fun. We can keep this. Uh, what's the name? Also, here we go. Going to do this, attach that, hold on real quick. Oh, wait, nope, don't need to hold on. Thought somebody was going to walk in the door, but they're not. But, all right, hold on. All right, so here we go. Going to go ahead and normal summon this. A dump the young man known as Viper. Then we can go ahead and go, we can use Wild Bow, right? We can use the Wild Bow to get another card. We can use the wild bow to go ahead and get another card. I mean, another Mumrat. What am I talking about? Another card. Another Mumrat. Then we could uh, upgrade Tigris to that. Discarding. I mean, detaching the what's the name? Detaching the Unizombie. And then, uh, I mean, does it really matter? I'm going to attach it to this. I'm going to attach the Viper. Right. Then we can use this Mizuki because we have not used, uh, what's the name? We haven't used Unizombie's effect yet. And we, uh, we have normal summon. So here, 
we can just already just run no we don't need to attack directly we can just easily run over this banish it from the duel so I mean his effect won't really work oh wait a minute no it doesn't matter if he protects it or not it's still going to get banished I was about to say he could protect itself tackle with the young uh, unizombie get a little bit of damage in right there then main phase two go ahead and send the young last mizuki from the deck to the graveyard so that means uh now we can go what's the name here that's what we can do no no we can't if because if we do do that then we won't be able to do anything we can't go minerva minerva is a good target but i don't think right now is where you go into an old you don't go into what's the name right now um and then we can go drancia right over this and then we can end our turn and we're just we're just set up for next turn uh probably should have foolish the snow just in case of um our opponent doing something out of the ordinary and decide they want to just beat us but he only has two cards to work with so that mean now he has three cards to work with but that's fine i guess what do you do each time your opponent activates the spell trap all right so i'm not tripping this is why i should have sent the snow because if i would have sent the snow oh all right so i'm i'm holding i'm definitely holding that one oops i was, I was supposed to be uh available so i could banish some shit well let's just do it now let's just do it now because i don't know i hate trick stars i really do hate this goddamn deck this special summon the trickster what happens what is this doing chain summoning okay well that's fine i guess Ooh, now that's that's good and that's why i'm going to do this and since you can't return yeah, you're not going to be able to just you're not going to be able to do that one this how does that still resolve can somebody explain that one to me reveal this card target special this card and if you do oh never mind that why did he just search another trick star what what's going on here folks why did he search again why did he get to search again Okay, it searches itself. I I what? Hold on, time out. He he searched this. What the fuck is going on? Yo, really? Okay, all right. Hold on, folks. I I just want to clear something up. What just happened? He normal summoned this and searched the field card. And then I activate when he activated this. Okay. Oh, never mind. All right. Okay. All right. I was about to fucking say. Like, whoa, bro. Like, now you're cheating. And here we go. The TD Crow is actually coming in handy. That's the funniest shit I've seen all day. That's so fucking crazy. That DD Crow actually came in handy. Wow. Well, Drancy is, I mean, Drancy is dying. So, there's nothing really we can do about that. But this, at least Wild Bow is staying alive. And then, no, he's going to attack into it because he, I guess he doesn't believe and um and in viper banishing shit i mean i guess that he's uh, uh this is fun I, I don't like tricksters i was about to i was about to go crazy but this card when it's activated it does search oh what look at that look i, I finally drew a card. oh never mind he's gonna hit me with that trap card he's gonna hit me with that fuck as soon as i draw it he hits me with the trap card isn't that some shit yeah we're gonna use spirit masters effect we're gonna pop this piece of shit this fuck you, right? Give me back my Omega. And you only have what's the name left, right? So, and I don't have any what's the name, so I'm going to use you. So go ahead and grab you. <clears throat> then we're going to normal summon this Lila. That's 3,000. That's 58. So that's not game yet, but you know what? It's, it, it's getting there. It's getting close to game. It's getting real close to the game. I'm really surprised he doesn't play more cards. Uh, more level 8. So that's probably something we would definitely do to this deck. Change it up. Is by adding uh, some level 8s. And probably cutting a certain amount of cards. Or something like that. Oh, so he's not going to do it that like that. Alright. Well, that's fine with me. Um, let's go ahead and do you. I don't even know what the hell to send. Sage. 
Okay, well then that was that was it for him. Um, so yeah, one more look at the deck profile. All right, so yeah, this was the deck we did play today. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week, and I am going to make some changes probably to the extra deck. Um, to just you know, uh, switch around a little bit. I, I do want more access to synchros. Possibly a Scarlight would be added, something of that nature or something like that. Probably take out the Dire Wolf or the Dweller. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow with another video.